name's Lee. I'm on a quest to save Del Toro. I've been to the most dangerous corners of the land to get the topaz, the ruby, and the opal. Oh, come on. Don't you think you're exaggerating slightly? Jasmine. I mean, how many times did I have to save your butt? I helped a bit, too. Barda. <coughs> ah! Philly. Cree. Okay, it's true. I never would have gotten this far without my friends. But we've still got four more gems to find. Next stop, the Shifting Sands. cooler it was just on the other side of those cliffs we climbed. There it is again. That strange buzzing. Really? Lee, can you describe it in more detail? I told you, it's like a thousand bees. The weirdest thing is that I feel like I've heard it somewhere before. What happened? It just stopped. What do you mean you feel like you've heard it before? Can you remember when? No, but it's all so familiar, and I have no idea why. Maybe I am just hearing things. Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute, now I remember. The opal showed me a vision of my future, and it was here. This is it. These are the sand dunes. So what happened to you in this vision? I don't know. It was like a dream. I was standing alone in the desert, and it was really windy. I could barely see. I was screaming for both of you, but neither of you would answer me. Sounds more like a nightmare to me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to end up like that. It... it was awful. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. Huh? We've beaten the odds before. We can do it again. Somewhere in this sand lies the fourth gem. It'll be difficult, but we're gonna find it. I'm sure of it. You're right, Barda. The thing is, this place is so huge. How will we know where to start looking? The belt gets warm whenever it's near a gem. We can divide the shifting sands up into sections and search them one by one. As long as we don't give up, we'll find it eventually. You mean you want us to walk around this desert until Leaf starts feeling the belt getting warm? You gotta be kidding. That's gonna take forever. Actually, I don't think it'll be too hard. Hmm? Huh? All the gems have one thing in common. They're all protected by an evil guardian. And I think the guardian of this gem already knows we're here, in its territory. What makes you so sure about that? I know it's weird, but I... I feel it as clearly as if the belt were talking to me. Hmm. hmm. So it's easy. All we have to do is keep moving. I'm sure the guardian is a lot closer than we think. We don't have to go find him. It's only a matter of time before he finds us. Well then, all the more reason why we need to hurry. We don't want to keep whatever this thing is waiting so long that he starts to lose patience. Yeah. Hmm. Please, after you. Since you two are so brave, you can lead the way. seem to go on forever. At least we don't have to worry about getting lost. All we have to do is follow our footprints back the way we came. That's true. But they're also a clear trail for the Grey Guards to track us down. Do you think they'd really come after us into this evil desert? Yeah, they've got to find us. Their lives are on the line. I'm sure the punishment they'd get is a far worse alternative. I'm glad. I want to meet those two again. I've got a little score I need to settle with them. What on earth is that? Hmm? Huh. Ah! Something has Philly and Cree really scared. On the double! Ah! 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 It can't be too far from. 
from here. I think you're right. These footprints are still fresh. We've got to find them or we're done for. Move! I knew they'd find us sooner or later. Yeah, and it looks like they've brought their friends with them. You're right. I'm pretty sure I heard some more voices just then. So what do you want to do? Well, we've got two choices. We either run or we fight. Wait, I've got another idea. Just do what I do and follow me. I'll show you. This is a great idea, Leaf. I have to admit, this is pretty smart. Let's hide in that ravine down there. Come on. Why don't we see them yet? Just keep following the footprints. They're gonna pay for this. Right. Huh? Hey! What's going on? Their trail just disappears. Maybe they flew away. That's impossible. Then how do you explain it? It's simple. They were eaten. You know, by the desert. I told you there was no point in following them here. This isn't a joke, you fool. We've lost a champion and two finalists. That's true. But the ticks might not be all the sands want to eat. Oh. Huh? Oh. Let's get out of here. Why? You know as well as I do what happens if we come back empty-handed. They might still be out here. Maybe they buried themselves, so enough talk! Find them! This is useless! They could be anywhere! Stop complaining, just dig! We're not safe here. Even if they don't know it, they're heading right for us. Get ready to fight, then. At least we have the element of surprise. Mm -hmm. something to their horror leaf barda and jasmine look up to see a terry octi these feared sand beasts have poor sight but are highly sensitive to movement lashing out at the slightest vibration with deadly accuracy uh, guys I think we're in trouble. guards who were running for their lives, but it totally ignored us, even though we were closer. My guess is that it's able to sense movement somehow. That's right. It felt the vibrations in the sand made by the Grey Guard's boots when they ran. So what do you think we should do? I don't know, but right now, I don't think we should move. Those. Looks 
like it stores food in them. Stores food? That's right. They started this well after it finished with the Grey Guards. What's it doing now? It's probably laying an egg. You think? Yeah, then when it hatches, the baby will have something to feed on while it's still small. That's gross. But it makes sense. That's probably what we saw before, the remains of an egg that had already hatched. escaped gray guards and a monster. Huh? Look at those marks. I'm pretty sure they weren't there a minute ago. They must be the footprints of some other creature. Not likely. If there was another animal that close, we would have seen it. But I wouldn't be surprised if the shifting sands are home to all sorts of beasts that burrow below, out of the scorching sun. Look at this thing. It's one of the bags of coins from the Rhythmir games. That's right! The Grey Guards probably took it when they captured us. But it's empty, so where are the coins? How should I know? Either they spent them all when we were unconscious, or worse, they're lost in one of those eggs. Wait a minute, don't those marks look a lot like the coins? Mm -hmm. You're right, they do. But how could the coins make these marks and then just disappear? I'm not sure, but I've got a really bad feeling about this. This sand's strange. It's like it somehow moves on its own. Wait, are you saying that the sand is alive? It's possible, I guess. Uh, um, Do you hear it again? Yeah, but this time, it seems like it's a lot closer. It almost sounds like it's coming right towards us. I still don't hear it. What about you, Marta? No, not at all. You had us worried. Where did you go? What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, but I don't know what just happened. I heard that buzzing sound again, but this time it was a lot louder. It got so loud that it felt like my head was gonna crack open. Mm. Something's going on. That was no ordinary sandstorm. And what's even weirder is that monster never showed, even though you were jumping around like crazy. That's true. Which makes me wonder if you weren't right, Leaf, that the sand itself is actually some kind of living being. With mindless will. Huh? Hey! Hmm? My knife's gone! No way! Oh, how could I have dropped it? That blade really means a lot to me. Look over there. What's going on? Does that look like your knife? Yeah. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I wonder if whatever it was that caused the sandstorm took it as some sort of offering. What do you mean, offering? My guess is that your knife somehow calmed it, as if it were satisfied with the payment. 
And earlier it was because it took the gold coins. That's why we saw those imprints in the sand. What are you saying, Leaf? I think the Guardian of the Shifting Sands collects money, jewelry, or other valuables from its prey. I don't think so. I'm having a hard enough time believing that the sand is alive and attacked us. Me too. But it seems that Leaf has some sort of connection with this place. I keep thinking of the last line carved on that stone. The end lies within its rocky wall, where all are one, one will rules all. Below the dead, the living strive with mindless will to survive. One will rules all, a mindless will. A thing of mindless will rules the shifting sands, and it gathers and hoards anything of value that's brought into its sandy territory. So of course it's not going to make sense to us. If that's what's on the stone... <gasps> Leaf, do you still have the belt on you? Don't worry, I've still got it. It's right here. What's wrong? I know it's kind of dumb, but I'm actually scared to touch the opal again because of what it showed me last time. We've got to keep going. The belt still feels totally cold, which unfortunately means we're not even close to where the gem is hidden in this desert. Hmm. <laughs> right, well, what are we waiting for then? Let's find that gem and get out of here as quick as we possibly can. I'm sick of this place. Yeah, so am I. Of all the evil places we've been to so far, I like this one the least of all. Wait, one last thing. Hmm? But I feel kind of weird asking this. Huh? Oh, come on. Just spit it out. I think from now on we should be tied together so we can't be separated again. We can use the rope we bought at Mother Brightly's. Mm hmm? After we were captured, when we were in those bags on the Grey Guard's cart, I was so glad to hear you two waking up next to me. I know it sounds cheesy, and I'm sure that you would have come to rescue me, just like I would have if either of you were captured. But it was reassuring for me to know that the three of us were still together. Stop it! You're making me blush. It's a good idea. Huh? I know I've said it before, but you guys would be totally lost without me. She might be joking, but it's true. None of us could complete this quest alone. Thanks. kidding. During my training, I learned that the temperature drops drastically in the desert at night, but I never would have thought that it got this cold. Do you think we could stop and take a break sometime soon? I don't know. The belt isn't even warm yet. I think we should keep going. But that's even more of a reason why we should take a break now, because when it gets warm, we're not going to have any time to rest. That's a good point. Let's take turns keeping guard. One will keep watch while the other two sleep. Sure, that works for me. Why don't you guys go ahead? I'll take the first shift. Thanks. I could really use some rest. Wake me up for the second shift, okay, Barda? Oh. Huh? <sighs> I guess he was pretty beat. I'm worried about him. He's been seeing and hearing things that we haven't. It's almost as if he's in a whole different world than we are right now. Let's just undo this for a while. He's got to be uncomfortable. Yeah, he should be fine. I mean, we are sleeping right next to him, after all. <laughs> Those two seem like they're pretty exhausted, too. Why don't you all get some rest? Thanks, Barda. And don't forget to wake me up, okay? Offer it to the hive. I told you before, I'll never 
do that, so forget about it! Offer the bells! 